Hey man, uh, do we got do we got any friends who came and visited us today? This is a fantastic. This is a special episode. We got all kinds of good friends returning back to the show. We had Dr. Kiki. Who else we got? Uh, well, uh, we have uh, our old friend Jonathan Mann. Uh, do we have Jonathan Mann patching in live from the Bay Area? Oh yes, I think yeah. we do. Yeah. First of all, this but is unprecedented for us to have a third timer in the summer music series. I yes. Mean, what is this? Yes. We couldn't get, we couldn't think, we couldn't find anyone, so we'd go back and knock oh, it on John. God damn it. Stop it, Brian, or I'm going to give you the old Squares Place treatment. <laughs> you know, <laughs> shut your smart <laughs> mouth. All right, so here's the deal. I had this idea, and uh, it's something that I, I certainly could never do because I'm not talented, uh, but I knew that there is one man whose skill set was perfect for it. So I, I had this idea, and I went to Jonathan that, you know, the, the election's happening, right? And... Everybody likes to hear about the election. It's obviously a very important time in our nation's history every four years. Um, but someone who's socially uh, plugged in and smart and amazing songwriter, obviously, Jonathan Mann, of course, has written a song a day. You're coming up on a thousand songs, right? That's right. September 28th is a thousand songs. Holy crap. If you have not gone back and just sampled mm -hmm. some of the awesome stuff that Jonathan has done, then please do it. It's uh, The Rock Cookie Bottom on YouTube. But, uh, the idea I had is what if you have a talent like Jonathan Mann writing a song about the month's worth of political happenings every month from now, August 2011, to Election Day in 2012. By the end of it, you would have this epic, awesome rock opera that basically told the story, the ebbs and flows of this gigantic, awesome uh, process. So. Jonathan, uh, you were into it, right? You, and and you, you were going to debut the first installment of that right here tonight. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, you, you, you brought this to me and I thought, I thought it sounded like a pretty good idea. I mean, um, elections are always very ripe for... Hilarious. Um, they're for they're a hilarious tragedy so, of errors yeah. that exactly. only yields more of the same sycophants and weirdos in the words of one Justin Robert Young. I think I said lizard people, but uh, yeah, basically that's that's the same. Um, but no, I, listen, and and it's one of those things where like you look back. I mean, because this whole process takes so long, you know, so long. Back, it's so amazing that it's already started. It's just ridiculous. Yeah, and like so, by the time that whoever gets elected in 2012, you're gonna be like, oh my, who was Herman Cain? Yeah, you know, right. you're gonna, you have no idea who that dude is. But thankfully, we have a chronicler. You, 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 I think of you, Jonathan, as, as a modern-day bard. Yeah. You, know, you are singing the history of, like of our, our great nation. Um, so, so here we go. Uh, it's just called August 2011, or, or is there the subtitle to it? I don't know. I, we should come up with some kind of... I'm bad at naming things. I, I think I just called it, um, you know, August 2011 presidential recap or something like that. So but we will come up with a better name one of these days. Actually, these I was, it was between that and also it could be called uh, Michelle Bachman and Rick Perry stuffing their faces. That could also be the, the title of this I'll tell this you what, song. if yeah. that is attractive to you folks, then you need to hear this song. Ladies <laughs> and gentlemen, performing the first installment in uh, uh, what uh, we will have you on every month, as long as you have a new installment of this awesome. right up until election day. Mm -hmm. Folks, Jonathan Mann with Michelle Bachman and Rick Perry stuffing their faces. <laughs> Take it away. Well, it's August 2011. The presidential race is already swinging. The grand old party's looking and looking, but so far they got nothing cooking. You got big boy Romney, 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 Romney Wild eyes Bachman, she's so crazy Crazy Herman Cain, he may be crazier And Bush Rick Perry, he's just scary Then there is Ron Paul, his name is Ron <laughs> He makes the most sense of all about what's going on but he's not taken seriously he's ignored by everyone on the tv but they love palin no matter what she does bachman wins the iowa straw poll but palin 
is still the front runner because we keep talking about her we just ignore her she will go away so it's august 2011 the front runner hasn't even entered the race the economy sucks and everything's crumbling so here's bachman and perry both stuffing their faces bachman and perry stuffing their faces bachman and perry stuffing their faces bachman and perry stuffing their faces freaking amazing that was epic that was incredible and i'll tell you what i love the idea that this is just the beginning of an epics uh my only request and i yeah. do think it should be an epic rock opera of the election but i think it should be an epic rock space opera so if you can have like ah. lizard people come in from the future okay. that would be awesome i don't know if there's a place you can work that in but yeah that really, should be right, possible right. It, 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 it's a long election cycle we have no <laughs> idea where the space wizards are going to vote right now the block is wide open <laughs> Indeed. I'm really uh, awesome, glad you man. got that that picture going because that's very key to the song. I mean, that picture pretty much is the it makes this you know makes the whole thing. I think. Uh, <laughs> yes. That. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh my god. <laughs> that to me, that's that's August right there. That's the August of the presidential election. That's sums exactly. it up in one image. By the way, because the, the funniest thing about that is, and this is no matter what your political affiliation is, because it happens on both sides of the aisle. Is is Jeremy? Can you bring that picture up? Uh, and right now what we're looking at for the audio listeners is just a picture of Michelle Bachman and Rick Perry, both. That what, what looks stuffing to me, they are mid-bite. They are, they are just stuffing corn dogs in their mouth <laughs> at the Ames uh, or the Iowa State Fair, which is where the Ames straw poll is always every uh, four years. And right now, people have dumped millions. As any pre presidential campaign, people have said, I believe in you, Michelle Bachman. I believe in you, Rick Perry. Here is millions of my own money. Go out there and be president, and yet they still, part of that process is, let me go to the state fair and put myself in a position where someone can take a picture where it looks like I'm deep-throating a corn dog. <laughs> that is an amazing part of our democracy, and I love it. Uh, well, yes, and it makes about as much sense as any other aspect of, uh, of the way we seem to elect our people. Uh, hey, man, we got to wrap things up. Uh, first of all, uh, yeah, John, Jonathan, uh, where, where, where should people check your stuff out? Uh, you can go, I, uh, my album, my new album is available for pre-order at uh, www.jonathanmanmusic.com uh, and also I have t-shirts there for sale and uh, brand new screen printed really nice t-shirts and uh, at Song A Day Man is my Twitter, it's a good place to go as well. And you got, you got gigs coming up, right? Uh, I, I do. On your, yeah, plug those. I do. Uh, I have... Uh, they're all in the Bay Area. Uh, on September 10th, I'm playing at this place called the Stork Club in Oakland. And then on September 28th is my thousandth song celebration record release show thing uh, with a bunch of special guests and stuff. And that'll be uh, at the Red Devil Lounge on September 28th. You can get tickets uh, via my band camp page, the Jonathan Mann Music page is a good place to go. Uh, let me, let me just tell you this. Uh, if you are a big YouTube fan or you have a YouTube account at all, uh, subscribing to uh, The Rock Cookie Bottom is probably the best value you're going to get on a YouTube account. Every single day, a new song, and they're all awesome. Check that out. now.